Mvambu, once a towering figure in South Africa's political landscape under the EFF, has recently embarked on a new journey with the MK party. His appointment as the party's national organizer was seen as a pivotal moment, particularly as he spearheaded the MK party's campaign in the political crucial Etikweni municipality. With months of effort and immense resources poured into the campaign, expectations were high. However, the results have left both supporters and critics stunned and surprised, raising questions about the MK party's future and Shivambu's political leadership. The MK party, though relatively new compared to giants like the ANC and the EFF, holds deep historical roots connected to the liberation struggle. Established as a movement committed to service delivery and fighting corruption, the party has sought to differentiate itself from other political entities. The Etequini region, with its complex political landscape, was viewed as a critical stepping stone for the MK party to establish itself nationally. Shivambo's role was central to the party's strategy as its transition from the EFF to the MK party was hailed by many as a bold move that could reshape South Africa's political dynamics. However, this transition has proven more challenging than anticipated. The MK party positioned itself as a voice of the people, focusing heavily on anti-corruption messaging and highlighting the failures of the ruling ANC in managing local governance. Rallies were held, media interviews were conducted, and door-to-door -door outreach was widespread. Etequini, which happens to be one of South Africa's most strategic metros, was seen as a potential breakthrough for the MK party. The city had faced significant municipal mismanagement and service delivery issues, making it a ripe battleground for change. Many believed that under Shivambo's leadership, the MK party could capitalize on the public's frustration with the ANC and the growing discontent among voters. Well, the election results and fallout, despite the vigorous campaign, the election results were in stark contrast to the expectations. The MK party secured less than 10% of the votes in key wards, failing to make any significant gains. This was a bitter blow for the party and for Shivambu, who had hoped to make Etekweni a stronghold for the MK party. Political analysts have pointed to several factors that contributed to this underperformance. One major issue was the difficulty of breaking into an electorate that remains heavily loyal to the ANC. Even with widespread dissatisfaction over local governance, the ANC's deep-rooted support base proved challenging to disrupt. Additionally, the MK party's relatively new presence meant it struggled to compete with well-established entities like the ANC and EFF, which have long-standing voter trust. Shivambo's leadership during the campaign has come under scrutiny, with some within the MK party questioning whether more could have been done. Why his political energy and ambition were undeniable, the lack of tangible results has led some to believe that the campaign strategy may have been flawed. Analysts have noted that while the MK party's messaging was clear, it might not have resonated deeply with the voters of Etekweni. One major criticism is the party's limited ground game. While rallies and media outreach were part of the campaign, the MK party may not have actually been able to sufficiently engage voters on a personal level. Before we draw the curtains of this particular video, we have some questions for you. I mean, is it possible for the MK party to challenge established parties like the ANC and the EFF in future elections? Again, what impact do you think these results will have on Floyd Shivambo's political future? Last but not the least, what could the MK party do differently in future campaigns to improve their chances of success? Please do not forget to answer the questions and of course, do hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification button so you can be the first to get notified when next we drop a new clip. Stay tuned and stay glued.